pineapple crumble recipe has been in the family for many years. Something I used to make with my grandmother. She used to cook with green apples, the kind of more sour type. Yeah. You know what I like to do? Try that. I like to cook with really sweet apples like these ones we picked. Yeah, much more sweet. And then we can add a lot less sugar, yeah? Because we've invited lots of people to our picnic, yeah. we can make apple and blueberry crumble as well. This is going to be our standard apple, which takes four apples. This is going to be our apple and blueberry, which takes two apples. And to flavour them, maple syrup, mm -hmm. better than processed sugar, and much more flavour, third of a cup in each one. Then just a teaspoon of my favourite. Oh, vanilla. I can just splash in a teaspoon. I'm good at it. What else do you think belongs in apple crumble? Um, cinnamon. Cinnamon, yeah. Do you girls want to go grab um, some of the topping ingredients for me? I need oats, I need cinnamon, I need flaked almonds and whole wheat spelt flour. Grab what you can. That's flaked almonds and cinnamon. Well done. Well, what have you got? <laughs> <laughs> Bit of heavy lifting and of course, two bowls, because you're both going to make a crumble topping. So because you're going to be mixing, how about I do the measuring? A whole cup of oats, one for you, and one for you, Lils. And then almonds, they've got good nutritional value, but they also give our crumble topping lots of crunch. Yeah, crunchy crumble topping, half a cup. Yum. Little bit of self-raising spelt flour, just quarter of a cup each. It's a good trade-up on normal flour. And because it's self-raising, it just adds a tiny, tiny puff to our crumble, helping it to crunch. Magic ingredient. Cinnamon. Half a teaspoon each. And then a quarter of a cup of maple syrup. A splash of butter. You need about 80 grams each, or about a third of a cup. And then you can start mixing that up. Great stirring, that looks good. Just grab some frozen blueberries out of my freezer. Yep. Need about two cups to make up for the apples we took out. Do you ever make like a berry crumble? Yeah, sometimes I do. Although if you want it to keep a little bit of body, because the berries can get a bit mushy, sometimes I just add one apple. And what berries do you like in particular? I like raspberries, blueberries and strawberries. What do you like? I think I like raspberries and cherries. Maybe I, I like those. I like blueberries, strawberries and raspberries. Yeah, delicious. Look at this. How good does that look? That looks amazing. If you yeah. divide that crumble roughly into four, and I'll divide the apple mixture into four, and then the apple and blueberry into four. So that way we'll have plenty for our friends at our picnic, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Do you think you can help me find a sheltered spot to have our picnic? Yeah. Maybe a little bit out of the wind. We'll tuck in under the mandarin trees somewhere. Yeah, that'd be great. There. Okay, give you girls some room to crumble. Two each. Crumble. The good thing about crumble is that you can be kind of messy with it because if you push it down too hard, it doesn't get as crunchy because it gets a little bit solid. So just leave it nice and messy, <laughs> which we love cooking with mess. How's that looking? Good? Right. Oh, look, you put a bit on the tray <laughs> for me. <laughs> oh, yum. It's a little bit like Anzac biscuits. Mmm, that's good. Wow, these look beautiful. Good? Yeah. Yeah? Have you finished long enough to help me put these in the oven? No, not yet, she says. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's get these in the oven. Done. Done? Only 25 minutes at 180.